Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Marilyn here. I have this lovely page uh, that I create with the July limited edition kit and I have been inspired in this lovely photo, vintage photo in sepia. I'm using this paper uh, with the maps on the background but this paper specific has these two images in both sides that I want to incorporate with the composition and all the embellishment so the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, place the photo I think is it is in the center a little more to the left side of the paper and I make marks with the pencil around the photo um, because the photo is in sepia, I want to add color on the background. I, I want to recreate the sea. Uh, and I'm going to add embellishment in this side here. I make mark with the pencil and in the top in this area here. And I make marks because I want to add color. Uh, I, I'm going to follow the uh, pencil mark to add the, the color. But first, I need a uh, color on the background. Let me a uh, little of coffee. Sorry, guys. It helps with the mousse. And now I'm not going to prime the paper. I'm going to apply Distress Ink direct to the paper. And with the sponge, I will apply. Why I choose this color? Look, because uh, this collection has a soft blue, and I, and I found that this color is perfect. And with that sponge, I will apply the color uh, around all the pencil mark that I made on the paper. Okay, I gave three layers of color. Now I'm going to add texture using modeling paste with gesso. I'm going to use this combination. And I stay with this uh, stencil. And I just, uh, you see the mark here, uh, the pencil mark? Well, I placed uh, the stencil around the mark and I apply modeling paste with my spatula first and then I'm going to apply gesso over the modeling paste. In that way when I use these combinations that I add the gesso over the modeling paste it acts like a paint it will let all this uh, stencil mark very uh, white <coughs> and highlight the stencil work now i'm i'm repeat i am repeating the same process in the bottom of this part and i place the the photo just to see that i have enough of this stencil work uh, outside of the photo now i apply the gesso and once I, I did that, uh, this last step, I will let it dry. Here's what I'm going to start. I, this is a net that I bought at Michael. And I cut pieces of this uh, net, as you see here. I want to recreate uh, all the ocean theme in this page. And I think that this net is uh, very cool. And I'm using my stample. Look how long it is. I bought it years ago because I can reach the center of the 12 by 12 paper with this uh, stample. And now I am stamping here uh, two sides of the net because in that way I can move and play with the rest. And I place the photo and I'm going to do the same in the top here with a, another piece of the net. I place with all and here is a piece of cheesecloth that I paint with uh, with distress ink. I'm going to uh, frame all the border of the fabric and I'm going to place this uh, piece of uh, uh, cheesecloth here under the net in this corner here. In that way you can create layers and it looks so nice with the textures. 
that you can create you uh, mixing two different uh, fabric or one trimming this is not a trimming this is a net and you can find it at Michael uh, in the in the area that are all the shells and the things the beach uh, tin if I can now I add this piece of uh, cheese cloth behind the photo and I am ready with that. This is one, one of the die cuts of the kit. I'm just applying vintage photo and 3D foam tape on the back. I'm going to apply vintage photo uh, to all the pieces in this page because I want uh, to create like a more vintage look in this page. And this is uh, other of the die cuts and I apply distress ink and I also uh, put the 3D foam tapes on the back and I am playing with all the embellishment here look this seahorse oh it's so cute I cut it from the papers and from uh, some of the cards and I place it here these are the prima flowers from the kit and I am moving the things and make my composition here I will let you with music during this process and I come back soon. Oh, but let me explain you one thing here. After I place the photo, uh, this piece of here, I just uh, blend, bend the 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 leaf. In that way, you can create uh, like more dimension. I hope it makes sense. And then I will continue adding all the the rest of the embellishment. I continue talking. I will let you with music, but I continue talking here because I want that you see here. You see, I bend the leaf by half, and it creates a little of dimensions, and it looks more realistic. And here I am playing with all the embellishment, and I already adhere everything and these two hearts are from the chipboard and i'm going to place one in this side of the photo and the small one here and now i'm going to after i adhere everything i take my white ink and uh, make white paint splatters over all the all the layers and now i'm adding some pearls here and there in different in two sizes the large and the medium uh, pearls here and there I just love pearls now I'm going to add textures with a uh, gloss gel and I'm using uh, the 3d gloss gel with the micro beads these one are the blue micro beads by Fina Bear. and I'm adding in all the blue uh, all the ink on the background I will add these uh, uh, micro beads I love the effect you will see at the end of the video uh, the texture that it creates and because I use the distress ink when you apply the gel it <laughs> you will see that the gel turns blue because it's ink so uh, it looks uh, the effect looks more realistic and very nice it looks like the uh, sea foam something like that but in blue oh, of course it's not white but i love the final effect well now i will continue adding uh with 3d gel 3d gloss gel the 3d uh the micro bits around all this texture around the photo around the die cut you will see that i will apply around all the blue area here and once it is ready I'm going to add more textures and you will see that it takes me a little more uh, time because I am a little picky if I can say and, and I love all the details I don't want to create a mess I want that everything looks uh, that everything is where uh, place it in the area that I want <clears throat> and now I'm going to add a little of uh, art stones this is the regular art stones and i put them over the net in in layers i you i put uh, on the background in the paper then in some area over the flowers and in that way when you uh, put in different uh, layers uh, it gives you uh, more dimension on your project
I also apply over the cheesecloth here. It looks so cute, uh, the art stone uh, on the cheesecloth. Now that I almost finished here, I just uh, cover the photo and I add more paint splatters. But let me show you here how it looks. And I create this video and that you can see here the effect of the foil on the background, the layers, how uh, looks the uh, micro, the blue micro beads, and you see. It looks delicate. It has a lot of embellishment, but not look too busy uh, for me. And I love how the net looks that you trap. It looks like the net, uh, a trap of the flowers, the sea, the seahorses, and all this beautiful embellishment that comes in the July limited edition kit by my credit scrapbook. And I hope that you like this video. Like as always, all the details about the kit, my social media are in the description box down below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell and give me a thumbs up. Here are two more videos that maybe you are interested. And I see you soon this Saturday with a new video tutorial. Nos vemos. Bye bye.